Well, hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do a little unboxing for a very unique, simple, but extremely useful product. Uh, it's from the good people from Stomp Trap. And we're gonna open this box, we're gonna discover what it is together. And before that, I wanna give a huge thanks to the inventor of Stomp Trap, Mark. Thanks for, send for sending this into the channel for everybody to discover your super unique product. So let's get this unboxing started. Uh, I kind of opened it a bit, but I haven't really like, I didn't dig in. It's still very clean. So when you buy the Stomp Trap, that we still don't know what it is, right? First thing you will see is this little manual. It says manual, has a little pick there. Nice. Uh, it's saying that we're, they're happy that we buy the product and a lot of blah, 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 but amazing stuff. Uh, that's pretty nice. You get a certificate of some sort that I cannot read this. This is not in English. I, I can't read that. I don't know if you can see that. That's not in English, but it's authentic. And that what, that's what matters. Okay, let's keep going. Hmm, I don't know what, what's in here. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay, I see now. We got some Velcro that kind of gives off the type of product that we're dealing with today. So we got a little bit of Velcro there and some sort of screws, okay. No product is complete without stickers. If you don't give me stickers, I'm kind of like a little bit mad at you. So everybody, please include stickers. And I think this is it. This is the, it's, it's a nesting. There's a nest. It's not an egg though. But it's a surprise. Let's see what we got here. So this is the stomp trap. Um, let's talk about what it is. So the stomp trap is a very, very unique thing and extremely useful. If you have a pedal board, you would know that dealing with Velcro could be a little bit annoying. You're always, um, you know, if you move your pedal board, it comes off, you gotta put it back in. If you're the type of player that's testing different types of pedal constantly, uh, you know the struggle that's uh, gluing this Velcro in, and then you know if you sell your pedals, you gotta take it out, you gotta clean it. Uh, it could be a little bit annoying. If you use the stronger type of Velcro, like I do, uh, Scotch tape has this like super strong, I think I have it, right here, super strong, uh, grippy, uh, it's like plastic. If you put that in, it's not coming out. So how does the stomp trap work with this in your pedal board? You put this or your Velcro in the stomp trap, right? And then the stomp trap goes in your pedal board and then your pedals go in the stomp trap. So let's suppose that you're the type of player like I am, I had a pedal board last year, which I would constantly sw swept in and out uh, drive pedals, because I had my delay in, I had my reverb pedal in, I loved them, but my drive pedals were always changing. So this is extremely useful, because I can put this on my board and I can put in and out as many pedals as I want without damaging them, without gluing anything to them, and without the wiggle and the thing, it's extremely clean. So this would be a very great um, solution for somebody that's in that type of a situation. Also, um, it comes in this size, it comes for mini pedals, and I think, I'm not really sure, it comes for bigger, bigger pedals. Uh, so I'll show you with one pedal in a situation. I have a pedal board right here and all the pedals, except for one, have Velcro in them. 
and I'll show you the way that I would use Stomp Trap. Okay, so I have this pedal board. Don't take it seriously. It's not my pedal board, it's just something I put together to test out uh, all these drive pedals that uh, I was given. So this is just a test, okay? So each of these pedals are stuck in the board with Velcro, Velcro or whatever, except for one, this one, right? So let's suppose I'm always changing this pedal because I always like to keep things fresh and I like to discover new things, right? So uh, I, for this pedal, I might sell it, I might exchange it for another one, I might even return it if I bought it. So instead of gluing it, right, let's take this out, I will take the stomp trap, it's right here. I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's like really strong or not. So I don't know if I even have to, okay, there we go. Yeah, it, it's, thank God it's strong, because the last thing you would want is this to pop out somehow. Okay, it's actually stronger than, <laughs> than I thought. So let me, let me brace myself and try to put it in. That's what she said. Okay, so this grips the out of your pedal, you know? So what you do is you put Velcro on this part, right? And then boom, you put your pedal there. So let's suppose this is stuck in there. All you have to do is take this out. I think there's probably instructions on how to take this out an easier way, but I'm just winging it because I haven't even read the manual. There's a manual there and I even read it. Whatever. But yeah, so that's extremely useful. Uh, for me, or people like me, if you're doing demos, right, you might even have a designator area where you have this type of a product uh, installed in one area and then you, you can take in and out your pedals. So that's extremely cool. You might even put this type of product in your whole pedal board so you're constantly moving just your pedals without having to deal with the hassles of Velcro and all the that has to go on with it. Uh, Velcro, great invention, but horrible stories with it. You know, it's not dependable, but it's something that we don't really question anymore, right? It's just there. But in a world where everything exists, I think the Stomp Trap has its little place in, uh, in something unique. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I know I would be using it the day that I would do, I make my own pedal, but uh, in the other, in my studio, I have this little area next to my laptop that I'll show you in a bit. And this is where I plan to put this stomp trap. So I wanna give a huge thanks to Mark for inventing this, the inventor of stomp trap. And I encourage everybody that's a pedal aficionado and a, a pedal board enthusiast to go to your side, check out the different sizes they offer the stomp trap uh, for. And yeah, great invention and we'll catch you later. Thank you very much. So everybody that has seen my videos know that sometimes uh, next to my laptop right here, I have this area. As you can see, I put some small Velcro. So before that, I would put the pedals directly in there, but if they're not my pedals, uh, you know, that's not cool. Or, or if a company sends me something and I have to take it back, that's not cool either. But now uh, I have the Stomp Trap in, I can put that end, I could vel Velcro it there. And as you can see, I can just take it in and out. Um, so that's extremely useful. I don't have to Velcro the pedal directly, and now I could get clean pedals wherever I want.